everybody. Happy Monday. How y'all doing? Let's see here. So, I'm going to give everyone a chance to log on. Here we go. I see the child is starting to get on. Okay. So, first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Coco, who is my stylist. Of course, y'all know she does my hair. She makes my wigs. Yes, she did my crochets. I absolutely love them. But she had an awesome, awesome makeup class this weekend. And I know I see a lot of women that be like, oh, well, I don't wear makeup and all of this kind of stuff. And I get it, you know. Um, but there's all different types of ways to wear makeup. You don't necessarily have to like the look that I like, which is a lot of glam, lashes, and all of this kind of stuff. There are more natural looks. But it's very important as a woman that you know how to get yourself together, okay? Because when your man trying to take you somewhere, the last thing you want to be doing all day long is scheduling appointments all damn day trying to get yourself together. By the time you get ready to go, when well, you got to go, bitch, you're going to be exhausted. Because you done spent the whole day trying to make up appointments and have appointments and all of this kind of stuff. That's why I do wigs and crochets and all of that kind of stuff because it's just convenient. Versus me wearing my natural hair. It's just, this is a lot more convenient. It ain't take shit for me to pull this up in the plaid, wrap this around, pull this to the side, get my face together. I'm done for the day. But anyway... I just want you to understand that it's very, very, very important that you learn how to get yourself together. And um, today's topic is going to be about how to get over a bad breakup. But, you know, a lot of times when girls were coming up, their families would send them to something called like finishing school. Or um, they would go to, you know, be like in these debutante pageants and all of this kind of stuff. And it basically teaches you how to be a lady and how to have etiquette. That way, when you get to the age of courtship and all of this kind of stuff, you know how to carry yourself. And I really think that is something that is missing. Um, with my daughter, like I done sent her to the eyebrow class. I done sent her to the eyelash class. I do this because I understand as a woman, even if I'm going to give you an example, this ain't got nothing to do with you getting yourself together for a man. Suppose you have a job interview or you have a job where you're dealing with the public and you have to be out and about and presenting yourself in a certain type of manner. You got to be able to get yourself together to go to work. I work for the state and y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I used to work with a whole woman, a lot of women. They just used to look sad and, and beat down and run down. And they were state workers and had, you know, positions of authority. But when they step in the room, they look like a damn hobo. Had, had a mess. Just completely, oh my God, just, it, just pathetic. And I'm going to be honest with you, if I was a man, I sure wouldn't want to come home looking at it every day, looking sad and pathetic and pitiful like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm a modern woman. So I understand the importance of being able to get yourself together. So the $60 that you pay to go to a class like this, that $60 is really nothing. Because it's coming with all your brushes. It's coming with palettes. It's coming with glosses. It's coming with um the shit, the concealers, and all kind of shit that, that's included in this kit. So when I went to this class, and I'm only talking about this because I'm giving everybody a chance to log on. But the only reason that I went to the class is because I wanted to learn how to do the highlighting and contouring. I knew how to do lashes. I knew how to do my eyebrows. I knew how to do the basics with applying the eyeshadow. But all of that type of stuff is what you learn in the class. So, now that we have gotten that out the way, and I think it's uh, it's enough for y'all that then had a chance to log on. Let's see. Uh, Coco information is all over my page, baby. All you got to do, anyway you see makeup, she's tagged on it. So, her name is... Um, Rochelle Lewis, uh, all you got to do is look on my page. Any way you see me, makeup, where I'm talking about my hair or anything like that, look for Miss Lewis. She on there. Lewis Mosby, let me say that too. Um, okay, so let's talk about how to get over a breakup. 
And I know a lot of y'all, this may surprise y'all, okay? And y'all may say, Sharonda has been married 20 years. What does she know about a breakup, okay? Um, I want to say maybe like year 10 of my marriage, my husband and I decided that we should separate. And we literally lived in separate residence for all of 11 days. But before this separation happened, it was other things that went on months prior. And it started by your classic weekend when my husband did not come home. And my issue ain't about you not coming home because I can give a fuck about you not coming home. I can give a fuck about you not, I can give a fuck about you going to the Bayou Classic and enjoying yourself. I don't care about stuff like that. But you got to communicate properly and let somebody know exactly what's going on. And if your phone loses its uh, battery power or whatever, you still have an obligation to find a way to contact somebody and let them know that you are right. So basically, that one incident spiraled into from Bayou Classic all the way through February 14 when he moved out, which was Valentine's Day. That was the date that the apartment was ready. So it was a series of things that was going on in between that time of November all the way to February. So once that happened with Bayou Classic and then you on this, you know, you you need time and you need to think. One thing about it, let me tell you something, women. When somebody's telling you that it ain't working for them or they need space or they need time, that this is not the time for you to try to go and negotiate, okay? You don't negotiate with somebody else about their feelings, okay? Because one thing I believe is either you want it or either you don't fucking want it. It ain't no straddle in the fence. It ain't no in-between. It ain't no we can work this out. It ain't no none of that shit. Because when a person is telling you certain things, take it for what it is. And if a man is, is talking that shit about space and he ain't happy and all of this kind of shit, you just be like, okay. Okay. In other words, you don't try to force something that ain't there. Okay. Because see, what happens is when you're trying to force some shit that ain't there, then that means that you don't put the fucking ball in the court with them. No, but you got the ball. The ball is in your court. Believe it or not, you got way more control and way more power than you think you got. Because see, sometimes motherfuckers don't miss the water until the well runs dry. Okay? Sometimes people don't understand how much you, how much you bring it into their life. How much joy and happiness that you bring it into their life until that shit ain't there no more. And one thing I believe is, if you don't want all of this and all this personality and all this shit that I got to bring to the table, I will starve you, meaning that I will remove myself completely. Okay? So, how to get over a breakup. Let's talk about that. How to get over a breakup. The first thing you got to do is get back to you. Oh my goodness, one of the first things I did, because see, what I realized when all of this shit was going on, I was like a whole lot of women like you. This was before the toy business and all of this kind of stuff. I was a mother. I had turned into a mother, meaning that I had lost who Sharonda was. I had gained a significant amount of weight. I hadn't been to the beauty shop in years. I, I, I didn't even go and get my nails done. I turned into a mother, meaning that I just look like a nurturer. I just look like a person that got up every day, just a plain Jane woman, no nothing, okay? I had turned into a boring person. Mind you, I told you that my husband went to the Bayou Classic. I didn't say that I went to the Bayou Classic. I said he went to the Bayou Classic. And it was a whole lot of things that he would invite me to do but I would be like, oh, no, I'm a mother. Oh, I'm not going to Benny's. I'm a mother. Oh, no, I'm not going to Club Webs. I'm a mother. Oh, no, I ain't going to the American Legion Hall. I'm a mother. I had just turned into a mother. And I just felt like all of that other stuff was for the people in the streets. I had became very judgy, judgmental, meaning I had separated myself and not that I thought that I was better, but to a certain extent, I felt like I was too good to be doing all of this, right? 
But at one point in my life, I used to go in and I used to enjoy doing those things, okay? I remember at one point in time, I got my hair done every week. I would never go without my nails being done. I would never neglect myself. So the first thing that you got to do when you're experiencing a breakup is you got to go find who you are. I don't care if you got to cut your hair. I don't care if you got to go and invest in you a week. I don't care what it is that you got to do, but what you got to do is get you together. And you got to look at you in the mirror and you got to understand that you are beautiful and that you are worth it. So, again, this was earned by your classic. So, in December, some of my co-workers was like, we going out. And this was when the Lyceum was a club, kind of. They, they used to be more like a club or whatever. And they was like, we going to this club downtown. We going to the Lyceum, right? Now, mind you, remember, I had told you... <laughs> That he had stayed out all night and never came home. Never called or nothing. And I was like, shit, I'm about to get me all the way together. So I went to the, I, I went and I, of course I hadn't been out in so long. I had to go, I went to Ashley Stewart and found me some nice shit to wear, right? I hadn't did this in a long time for myself. I went to Ashley Stewart and I found me some nice shit to put on. I went, and I want to say Shatika was doing my hair then, whenever I would get it done. Went to Shatika. I let her lay my hair. got my nails in the bitch. I went and got lashes. I got myself all the way together to go out. Went out, had a wonderful time. Beautiful time. Then after the club, some of the co-workers was like, let's go to the Waffle House. Now, mind you, the club closed at 2. We didn't leave that bitch till they turned the lights on. Okay? They, they literally put us out there, bitch. We was partying so hard and I was enjoying myself, okay? Went out to eat and then it was like about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and I told my coworker, I said, bitch, I'm coming to your house. I'm not even much about to go home. I'm, I'm coming to your house. I went to her house and slept in her son bed. Her son, her train was gone for the weekend. I went and slept in her son bed, got up the next morning and eventually made my way home. See, what, what I need you to understand is when you having a breakup, what you got to do is you got to completely starve that person, meaning that you can't get them access to you, meaning that you can't be picking up the phone and calling and texting and telling them I miss you and all of this kind of shit. No, fuck no, don't do it. You broke up, remember? You ain't to fucking get it. remember? Okay, I did shit like Mr. Hatch would have paint parties on Sundays. Bitch, I'm going to the paint party. I'm going to do the things that I enjoy doing. Oh, they got a festival coming up. Well, bitch, I ain't got to put some gas in my car and go to the festival and enjoy myself. In other words, I got back to Sharonda and Sharonda started doing the things that she enjoyed. Hold on. Okay, I'm seeing somebody out here talking about the arms of another man. This breakup ain't got nothing to do with no other man, Okay. This breakup got everything to do with you enjoying you. See, I ain't, when, when, when my husband and I went out separate ways, I wasn't leaving him for, for another man. He wasn't leaving me for another woman. I left him for Sharonda. It was me getting back to Sharonda. I'm going to the paint parties. I'm going to the festivals, bitch. All of a sudden, Sharonda got a life now. Sharonda going to the, go and get crawfish. Stepping at the daiquiri shop, getting her daiquiri. Me and the children at the park now. Instead of on Saturdays, we just at home looking at the walls and shit. No, we're going to go get us some crawfish. We gonna, I'm going to go get me a daiquiri. I'm going to get y'all some juice. We about to get out this fucking house and we about to live life and enjoy life. We about to go look at the fucking sky and the birds and shit. We're going to go down there to the levee. All of this is free shit, Okay. What I'm saying is, in order to get over a breakup, bitch, you got to occupy yourself, your time. You got to get busy, meaning that you got to have shit to do. Because when you got shit to do, you ain't got time to think about them. I don't, I don't like going nowhere. That's the fucking problem. You don't like going nowhere. Bitch, go to Barnes and Nobles and go sit over there in the list section and go and read some shit. Go do something. If you like to read, get out your house. When he come to try to see about you being at home, bitch, you ain't never there. 
You gone. You got a fucking life now. What? I'm trying to teach you how to do this shit. And, before, and, and a lot of times, the reason you can't meet nobody is because you at home open. If you go, okay, I'm going to give you an example. The culture got a live band on Thursdays and Sundays. A lot of times people think they got to spend a lot of money to go have a good time. See, like I said, bitch, if you know how to get you together, you're going to get you together and you're going to go to the culture. Motherfuckers going to buy you a drink and appetizer for you because you're looking just that good. Do you got to like them? No. But see, when I was going out and I was enjoying myself, I ain't spent no fucking money. They was treating me. Because I'm looking just that good because I'm out there enjoying myself. And what it is is these niggas trying to get chose. And all I'm trying to do is choose Sharonda. But when you looking good like that, all motherfuckers going to offer you all kind of shit. They're going to be like, well, you want something to eat? You know what? Let me look at the menu. Let me see. You want something to drink? You know what? This one, I don't, maybe I don't really drink, but you know what? Tonight I'll take a drink. What you drinking? Give me what you drinking. Do some different shit. Play, have fun, have fun, flirt. You ain't got to ever see these people again. Like, I'm just letting you know. You can get out there and you can really enjoy yourself after a breakup. You can really start living life and enjoying yourself. Y'all, the library has so much different shit. Free. Everybody ain't no person that want to be in the club and all of that kind of stuff. Go to the lit, uh, to the lit board at the library. They got some shit going on at the library every week, every day of the week. If that's your speed, if you want to go do a dark coloring, they provide everything. It's free. Go do it. Me and my husband went and did a dark coloring as a date because we had challenged ourselves to come up with free dates, things that didn't cost us anything. And a dark coloring at the library was something that we did one night. Um. Uh, I'm always at home or work. Yeah, mm -hmm, true. And let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to do things during the week, okay? Because sometimes you get a lot of great deals during the week. For example, yeah, people like to go to the movies on Fridays and Saturdays and all of that shit. But bitch, you need to be there on Tuesday when it's $5. In other words, you you got a life now. You You doing shit now. In other words, you so occupied till you ain't even got time. Girl, you weigh your fucking self out till when you get home, bitch, you so exhausted, you don't want to do nothing later on and get ready for work the next day. Because you got a life now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to teach you how to do this to whereas, see, the reason why people have a hard time with a breakup is because their time ain't occupied enough. If you want some shit, if you ain't got shit to do, bitch, go volunteer somewhere. Go get your time away for free just so you can have something to fucking do. So when he passing by your house trying to see what the fuck you got going on, he stalking your Facebook and your Instagram and all the shit that you got going on, bitch, you busy. You so busy, you ain't got... But let me tell you something. Once a real woman leave for yourself, men don't understand the why. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. When them 11 days rolled around, my husband stayed in his apartment 11 days. 11 days. When he came back to his house, I was a whole nother woman mentally. I understood that I could never lose myself again. I understood that I could never neglect myself again. It was certain things that I understood that could no longer happen. So, the key to getting over a breakup is to get yourself busy. Get yourself grounded in the word. Meaning that you build a relationship with God that is so fulfilling. So you understand that your joy and your peace and your happiness don't come from somebody else. These things come from within yourself. See, and sometimes a lot of women, they go out there and they're looking for certain things from another person. But the things that you're looking for, some voice that you're looking for them to fulfill, these are things that you're supposed to already come to the table with. You can't expect somebody else to come to the table with your happiness. You got to come to the table with happiness. They got to come to the table with happiness. And then, bitch, y'all be happy together. Hey, baby. 
So what I'm trying to say is sometimes the reason these relationships ain't working and all of this kind of stuff is because you expecting people to come to the table with things that you're supposed to already be equipped with within yourself. And the only way that you can have those things inside of yourself is you got to be grounded. And you got to know who you are. You got to know the things that make you happy. So, for an example, if you're doing things that make you happy and it's not things that your significant other necessarily enjoy doing, don't not do it because they don't enjoy it. You should still be doing the things that make you happy. If you enjoy going to the paint parties and you enjoy painting and they don't enjoy painting, you still need to go to the open session on Sundays and paint. Because it's the things that you enjoy. And then they're going to do the things that they enjoy. And then when y'all come together, you can talk about the things that y'all did. You don't put your happiness and the things that you enjoy to the side. Because somebody else don't enjoy it. That's how you lose yourself. That's how you, you look in the mirror and you don't even know who you are anymore. I love blues. My husband don't like blues. When I'm riding the car by myself, guess what I listen to? The blues. When we're together, we'll, we'll uh, listen to something that we both can agree on. But guess what? I'm not going to ride in the car and listen to no motherfucking uh, NWA and no DJ Quick and all of this shit because this is what he like. When we, when we, me and him ain't in the car together, then guess what? I'm listening to what the fuck I like. So guess what? When we ride together, we both like Trey songs. We both like certain genres of music. We listen to what we both like. When he on his own time, he can listen to Shoot Him Up Bang Bang all day long if he wants to. Y'all got to learn compromise. You got to learn to get back to the things that you love and the things that you enjoy. If you like to be glammed up, bitch, be glammed up. You don't let nobody else tell you, oh, I don't like all that makeup and I don't like it. You ain't wearing it for them. You can glam for you because this is what you like. This is the way you like to see yourself look. Y'all give people too much control of you. Get back to who you are. Get back to loving who you are. That's how you get over shit. Learn to forgive people. Forgiveness is necessary. You can't expect to thrive and be great and you got all of this baggage holding you down. Let that shit go. You can't change it. It didn't happen. You can't change that your mama was on dope. You can't change that your daddy wasn't there. You can't change the man that raped you, molested you. You can't change none of this shit that happened in your life. All you can do every day is strive to be a better person than you were the day before. That's all you can do. You got to get back to your own peace and your own happiness. That's how you get over shit. And it don't necessarily apply to a breakup. It apply to anything in life. That's how you move forward and get over it. Okay? So, let's talk about some of this cute, sexy shit that I got. Okay. So, I hope you all can see it. I hope, let's see. I hope you can see it. But this is how they look on the back. This is how they look in the front. These are strappy boy shorts. Now, for whatever reason, Facebook didn't want me to post these because they said that, I don't know, they said you couldn't post it. So here you go. I kept getting these error messages, just the plus size. Now, this is another thing. The plus size is selling out like hotcakes, okay? First of all, I ordered all they had because I felt like y'all finances was going to like them because I like them, Okay? Now, I got them in a the regular size, too. Now, the regular size people ain't came about not one pair. And they was on sale for twelve ninety nine on the website. They back up to $25 now. They back up to full price. But if you like the strappy boy shorts, and you just, you might say, well, for Valentine's Day this year, I'm going to strip. This is the best shit to strip in right here. This strip will tie you. This is the shit the strip was with. Yeah. Cute, right? Okay, I got some other shit that's real. It's gonna fuck his head up because when he see you, he gonna see you coming one way, right? But when you turn that ass over, oh yeah, bitch, you got straps everywhere. I like that. I really like that. So again, we got this. If you want more classic lingerie, 
Of course, we have classic. But it got that ass out too. See, all everything that I pick, it got that ass out. I like that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Again, classic. Mm -hmm. Turn it over. That ass is out. I like that. Uh-huh. I, I always pick out shit that I like. You know, shit that I will wear. Because when I model it, y'all come by it. Yeah, I, I show the pictures with the models wearing it. Y'all be sitting there like, oh, it's all right. Then I put it on. You be like, oh, I didn't know it was going to look like that. Let me tell you something, baby. When, when we women and we curve it and curvaceous, when we put it in, when we put the a lingerie on our body, we feel that shit out everywhere. And them men like it. So you you can tell me all day long, he don't like lingerie. He lying. He lying. He like it. I bet you one thing, put it on and take a picture in it. He going to be like, what you taking a picture in it for? He like it. If you have not gotten your copy of Cyber Sex, I'm running low on books. If you have not gotten your copy, you need to get your copy. I pulled this out because I want to say at the back of this book, let me see. Oh, okay, of course, it's how to squirt at the back. I know it was a, um, how to suck dick real good. Uh, how to get him all the way down, how to deep throat, okay. Uh, enjoy your anal sex, a dirty 360. And how to move on after a breakup. Yes, that is in my book as well, okay. So if you need a how to step by step guide, I think I told everybody to, um, to post some different things that they enjoy doing. Cause a lot of times when I, um, I deal with women, and I asked them, what, what is it that you enjoy? A lot of women can't necessarily tell me off the top of their head what it is that they enjoy doing, you know. And some people say they like getting together with family and friends and all of that kind of stuff. It's different for everybody. See me, I love museums. And I don't care if I got to travel far or near to get to them. I love museums and I love trying different foods at different restaurants. I get on the highway for some food too, you know. So a lot of times when I'm planning a little weekend getaway, I already know that I'm going to research this city. This is real easy, y'all. This is easy stuff you can do. Go to the, the research the city. If you see a, a restaurant or some shit on Instagram or Facebook, why y'all feel like y'all can't be there too? Why is it that you feel like when you see certain things that that ain't for you? Everything that you see in this world, you got access to it. All you got to do is get yourself there. If you want to see the ball prop from New Year's, bitch, book you a flight and go. If you want to be at um, uh, Murder Beach with the, the people on the motorbikes during um, the, the bikers week, go. Stop limiting yourself. I'm going to get to Texas to the turkey wing hut. I'm going, and it's going to be real soon. I feel it in my spirit. It's going to be so soon. I do. I, I feel it. I'm going to be there. And I'm going to have one of the big-ass drinks with one of them big ass turkey legs because I want to go and have the experience for myself. I will get on the highway and drive. They got Movitopia in Houston. When I go to the turkey wing, hey, guess what? I'm going to go visit Movitopia too. These are places that I want to go. So I don't limit myself. I'm going to go because this is where I want to be. All you got to do is do the same thing. Get yourself busy. Start having some shit to do with your time. And then you won't have time to be focused on what a motherfucker doing and ain't doing. Because now you got you a life. Yeah. That's the kind of shit you got to do. Okay. You you feel it in your spirit too in about two hot weeks? That, yeah, I, uh -huh, I know. Yes, 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 yes. So, the best thing you can do is get you a peace of mind. Bitch, get you a schedule going. On Tuesdays, I go to the movies. On Wednesdays, I go to Bible study. On Thursdays, I go to the culture. On Fridays, I go to the grind. On Saturdays, I'm back at the culture. On Sunday, I'm at church. <laughs> Get you, be so busy till you don't even know you got shit planned every day. I'm over here with the churn. I'm volunteering, selling cookies and shit. Get you something to do with your time. Before you know it, you'll be so busy until you didn't even know that you was in the middle of a breakup. Okay? 
How to Get Over a Breakup, it's in my book. The book is on the website. This is the last week to buy March Madness tickets for $30. Last week, lap dance class. Sex and lap dance class is Sunday. And uh, I think we got like 10 spots left because uh, people been paying through cash out this morning. Um, Jaleesa say it's nasty, nasty, nasty. So I'm looking forward to this nasty, nasty, nasty dance. We're going to be rolling all over the floor. Now listen, this class is like two hours long. So the first hour, what she does is she teaches us the routine, right? And then we clean it up that last hour, meaning we do it together as a group and we learn to dance. Then for the finale, meaning when we all do the dance together, that's when we're going to put on our white button-down dress shirt. We're going to put our heels on. And we're going to perform the dance all together as a group in our white button-down shirts in the heels. This is going to be a lot of fun, okay? This is something that you can perform for your man for Valentine's Day. That's why we're doing it early so that, you know, you got time to be able to, you know, like really, really get this uh, routine down in your spirit. So that way when you get ready to do it, bitch, you're going to be a real stripper and you're going to have your white button-down shirt on with your thongs on. Ain't nobody going to be able to tell you shit. Okay? I'm trying to get y'all ready. So, yes, it's $20 cash out, dollar sign, PPG store. Send your $20 there. Once this class is filled up, it's filled up. Okay? That's a wrap. It's filled up. Don't get to ask me when we're doing another one next year. The same way y'all ask me when you're doing another dick sucking class, 2021. The riding class is in April. Once we do the riding class, um, I think I want to do another bike ride. Some, that'll be a lot of fun uh, for us to get together and do another bike ride. Um, so we got all kind of stuff going on. If you have not registered on my website to keep up with these events, you need to be registered on my website. It's way too many of y'all that get on the group page and then y'all act like y'all don't know how to find out nothing. That means they tell me one thing y'all ain't reading. Y'all just looking for pictures. You got to read, baby. Comprehension is very important. You have to read. Another thing is you need to be registered on my YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, okay? So that is going to conclude everything. Yes, these are still on the website. They still on the website, okay? Yes, we will ship to you all over the world because we ship an international now, bitch. It's 2020 and we ship an international. I'm super excited about this. So, I'm just making sure I don't have anybody with questions. Let's see. What I understand, graduate school, work, parenting, yes, sometimes you grinding it out like that, but you ain't going to always be in graduate school, working, and then the children going to be them went on about their business. I just had somebody that was an empty nester asking a question. And then I, the first thing, let me tell you, oh, another thing, I, let me say this, and this is going to end this video. Y'all bitches are so negative. This woman said that they churn just went off to college. She 42, he 44, and they empty nesters, and y'all all holler about, he cheating. He cheating. Fucking woman, husband ain't cheating. The thing is, he, he don't know what to do. He got all this fucking free time on his hand. He don't know what to do. So y'all got to start being encouraging. Everybody, man, ain't cheating on them. The woman says the only thing he do is go to the gym and work out. Y'all say the man got a bitch at the gym. And somebody else said he got a bitch at the church. Y'all, <laughs> who hurts you? Bitch, who hurts you? Please tell me who hurts you. That woman, husband ain't got no woman at the fucking church and no woman at the gym. He can't possibly have all these fucking women y'all giving him. All these people need to do is just rekindle. That's all they need to do. Get back to the basics. Because sometimes after you have been a parent for 27 years, all you know to do at that point is be a parent. And they don't understand that they got free time now and they can do some of the shit that they want to do. And maybe she can go to the gym every now and then and work out. And maybe they can do some activities other than church. But, you know, she got to bring that to his attention that, you know, it's other shit that we can do other than gym and church. You know, that's why she asking in the group page. The first thing y'all trying to do is get the woman to leave her fucking husband. Why? So y'all dog ass can scoop him up? Shit. That's going to conclude that's going to conclude this segment because y'all bitches love to tell somebody to leave their money so you can be sliding in the inbox. 